This is Mrs. Haymore. Hi. And she teaches seventh grade language arts and theater. Yes. Today I will be interviewing her. Who is your hero? Well, Abby, my hero is my dad, Fred Bailey. Tell me about your hero. Uh, my dad was born in 1937 in Macon, Georgia. He was raised there, uh, spent most of his young life in Macon, and then went to Georgia Tech, became an engineer, married my mom, um, was a telephone engineer for almost 40 years before he sadly contracted cancer and died of that illness in 1996. Why is he your hero? My dad will always be my hero because he had a, a very hard time during the early years of his marriage. My mom got really sick and he had to take care of her. And at this point, my brother and I were both very, very young. So he had to raise us and take care of her. And he persevered through all those trials and really did it with a lot of joy. Um, and he taught us how to persevere through trials and tribulations and do it with joy in our hearts instead of being sad and bitter and angry all the time. He just um, instilled in us how important it is to persevere through the struggles when they come your way and to do it with a good attitude. When did he become your hero? Um, I think he became my hero when I was in junior high school. Um, this was probably the hardest point of my mom's illness. She almost died and I had to go to a new school and it was a very, very difficult situation. It was back in the days when um, integration was first starting. And it was a very turbulent time. And not only did he have to take care of my mom, take care of my brother, but he had to be there for me while I was facing a very difficult point in my life. But he was always there. He Sometimes he'd have to leave work and come to the school and help me because I was going through such a hard time. But he was always willing to just lay down anything he had going on and make me his first priority. What qualities does your hero have that makes them a hero? Well, Abby, as I've been saying, I think my dad's best quality was his perseverance. But... It was more than just perseverance. I call it perseverance with honor and with joy. When he got sick, he did not give up. He continued to fight the cancer. He had a really good attitude. He spread joy all over the place at the hospital. Wherever he was, he just made people happy, made people laugh, and um, he, he even went on mission trips while he had cancer. Um, he went to Mexico. There's a dorm named after him at a school in Mexico. He took them Christmas toys every year. He was always giving to people. And he did a lot of this while he was sick. So perseverance with honor and with joy. Which hero in literature would you compare your hero to? Um, I would compare my dad to Atticus Finch from um, To Kill a Mockingbird because Atticus obviously loved his children very much and he protected them and took care of them, but he didn't patronize them. He wasn't patronizing to his children. He treated them like young people and that's how my dad was with my brother and with me. He never babied us. He expected the best out of us and he always um, instilled in us a sense of right and wrong, a sense of honor, of do the right thing. I feel like Atticus Finch was like that. But then you'll study To Kill a Mockingbird this year, but there was a sequel to that book called Go Set a Watchman. And in that sequel, you really see the humanness of Atticus Finch. And I feel like my dad was like that too because he did have weaknesses. He did have things that made him human and that just made me love him all the more. If you could see your hero again, what would you say to him? Well, first I'd have to tell him thank you for all the things that he taught me, for everything he meant in my life, for all the times that he came to my rescue, for every valuable life lesson that, that he instilled in me. 
but I'd also wanted to update him on how my kids are doing. He was so invested in their lives and I know he hated not to see them grow up. And I'd have to ask him a little about heaven because I know he's in heaven and telling jokes to Jesus probably. And I just want to ask him all about that and just tell him I can't wait to be with him on a permanent basis because he truly was one of the finest men that I think has ever lived. And um, there's still so many people on this earth today who he had a big part in their lives. One man had um, cancer and couldn't get to treatment. So my dad bought him a car and he did things like this all the time. At his funeral, it took us over three hours of people standing up and telling how my dad had blessed them in their lives. And so um, I would wanna update him on some of those people and things that have changed since he, since he passed away. But most of all, I'd just give him a big hug and tell him thank you, thank you and how much I, I love him and how much I miss him every day of my life. October 7th is the 20th anniversary of his death. There's not a day that I don't think about him. Um, there's not a day that he doesn't affect my life in some way. And so I try to, as best I can, um, carry on his memory. And um, he was a hiker, an outdoor enthusiast. He um, loved life. And I try to keep his spirit living every day. Thank you, Abby.